previously during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenville. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. That's nothing new. Let's see if we can, uh... Chill at the gas station. Oh, fuck. And not crash this time. I believe. Oh, hey. Wait, this is a different timeline. We're not gonna meet Jack? But I like Jack. Oh. I've never seen you here before. You in town to see some sights? Gina the Rose, Jack's wife. Oh, fuck. Can't fuck with her. Name? Oh, wow. <laughs> Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. FBI? Wow. Wait, her cool. name's Anna Graham? No. Like Anna Graham? Scar. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? Ugh. I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a more simple conversation. Like Instagram, oh, simple. of course. Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Also, spit shine my car, hmm. would you? Uh huh. People really like my service. They like it when I put it in, and they like it when I pull it out. They like the way I pump it. <laughs> Just thrust in there. Oh man, I can't give her money. A good sponge sound. Thanks, lady. Pump it. Buy car wash enough times you unlock a special cutscene. Ooh. I'm also interested. Ugh, I can't believe I threaded the needle. Oh. What's up, dude? So, you're the talk of the town. What they say, Keith and Graham? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. That's what everyone always this calls me. This is a good me. camera. My name's Keith. A pleasure meeting you, York. Sure is a big scar. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So, Keith, I have a couple of questions about the incident. Huh? Sure, fire away, man. Did you know Anna Graham? Yeah, of course, man. Poor little Anna. She was such a nice girl. I mean... What kind of sicko would do that to her? Well, I'm here to catch that sicko. Listen, even the smallest piece of information might be useful to me. If there's anything you noticed or want to let me know, contact me. Okay, will do, bro. You got my cooperation, FBI. Another thing. I'll be frequenting your store during my stay here. So I'll see you around. <laughs> sure thing, bro. We got what you need. So drop in any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, your faces. Are you playing with a paddle ball? No, you're just flicking your wrist. Making all these clippity-clop sounds. Where are you hiding the horse, dude? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Lily Ingram. My husband owns a convenience store, and we have two sons. You're married to that dude? Fucked up. I like to think that I'm just a regular wife in a regular family. Aside from the point that our sons were the first witnesses to the crime scene. Oh. They seem pretty calm considering their involvement in such a big murder case. <laughs> you think so? I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, if I looked all bleak and gloomy, I think it would hurt our business. Uh. Agent Morgan, about that scar. Uh, Lily, please don't call me that. Call me York if you can. People have been calling me York for a long time. You're a silly one. No, not at all. I'm just a regular <laughs> special agent. No, shut the fuck up. So what were you about to say, Lily? Huh? 
about my scar? Um, I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten. It's because you said something silly. I see. Well, if you remember anything important, just let me know. I will. I'll probably be making use of your store during my stay here. So I'll see you from time to time. Okay, I'll see you soon then. Jesus Christ. No, I am not a gesture of any sort. Hey, I made it! waiting. Is this the way the FBI treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. Holy you shit, I was gone for like you know 20 that? minutes. I'm sorry if I upset you, but it was important stuff. To me, at least. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. He's not listening, George. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful from now on. I promise. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. And Please. you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Wait, I thought they called you Grandpa. Are you Lily's dad? Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body. Is tree surgeon yes, a real my thing? grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. Yes? Okay. Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. You're right, I was there. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there, then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on, they're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Am no. All right. That's stone cold, even for the sake of investigation. Children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them, standing so upright there. They're sitting down! <laughs> now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Why are you her yelling at me? Shiny, bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrel, weasel, and a snake. A real snake. We didn't know until then. But we know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah. She was a fairy, a goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Your of course she is. Your yeah, of course. All right. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Okay. That's useful. Shit, evil tree. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here too. So. Okay, thank you for telling me what unsub here? means. Here we go again.
He got some crazy brain powers, dude. He quit smoking the peyote so lace cigarettes. We need more clues. Oh! I'm in my schmock! The pressure of the grass, I think we have a clue. That was quick. You got two bent pieces of grass. I think the two actually meant like two in position. Oh man, it's the dude, the red dude. The guy who went, ah, 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 no, no, no. I know the rest of it. He hates it. How did it come to this? Oh shit, what this? <gasps> Who broke this? Picture of a vest with holes. Huh. Okay, I guess it was two bent pieces of grass. George. Though he likes to show off, he's way too eager to compete, which may be what it takes. As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene. Find clues. Basic crime investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car, if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. I'll find the sparklies, and then we can talk later. I can just take a nap here? Kinda cool. Hmm. I don't think I have a warrant for this. But! Police duty calls, you know. I'm a cop. Ooh, pickles. I eat. Nice little snack. I can only catch it on the backswing up here. Uh, what? Did I not have enough room for these pickles? Oh, I guess there's more pickles. Wait, infinite pickles? Just infinite pickles? Or am I not picking them up? Alright, if these pickles don't disappear, this is infinite pickles. I guess there's just a bunch of pickles. Alright, whatever. Pickles for me. This is, this is very necessary. Ugh. Oh man. There we go. Oh man! There we go. Then there's nothing up here? Bam fucking boozled. Oh, hey, hey. What's that in the tree? What's that? Probably evidence. So that means I gotta use my very delicate FBI tool here. Knock it out. Right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Chip with rusted metal dust. Okay. 
Okay, all right. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you want to do there. I hate this. Alright, one more evidence somewhere. Also, like a card symbol on my mini map right here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, more evidence. Get bl blap, you stupid evidence. Oh, maybe. Oh man, how do I get this evidence? Time my gunshot with the thunder so the evidence doesn't hear you. Oh, obviously. I learned that from Phantom Pain. Roll to the tree and knock it down, that makes sense. Maybe I should just whack the tree and it'll knock it loose. Kind of like rolling into it. Yep, there we go. I'm a genius, but where to go? All the way over there, holy shit. Oh, it's an anagram card. Hmm. I had no idea she, that's what she looked like. Down the cabin. Oh, oh. Yeah. Just like Animal Crossing. Missing piece of pin heel shoe. In a tree. Yeah, they fucking end up there. Alright, show me the whole fever dream. seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, very fitting high music. stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. He hung her from the tree and put on her shoes. Like a passionate man would. Showing. Go. He knelt down. And, and disgusting. Chill out, baby. George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zach? And what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. What? Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. The killer was wearing shoes? There would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? Hmm... Let me go into my mind palace and put this together.
My shoe! Oh, jeez. Now I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Of course. Just like the twins said. She was a goddess. The unsung, our unknown subject. <laughs> his body. It's bitten out tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. Why does he have to say unsub and then say our unknown sub suspect? Like he has to say it every time. Body, unknown subject. Farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. Oh man! I do too. Before you ask, was it you, Emily? Like, nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Who that? Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. Is Emily just carrying an ashtray? In a couple days. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore. With either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The old lumber mill. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? Alright. What do y'all drive to? I really don't enjoy the driving. Money, money, money. Loads of money. The lumber mill is pretty far from here. If that's where she was killed, why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead. Something close to love. That could well be the key to all this. Love. Love will bring will us back this, together. Though, George. Profiling is a risky business. Of course, if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well then, everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence, and carefully figure the unsub's M.O. Modus operandi, his way of thinking. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. What is this music? Fuck! Fuck! I want to get out and save. But they're gonna get mad at me. So I'll just do donuts, I guess. Fuck. The 
When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in full swing. It closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. I oh, I can drive so. like a madman. I've never really been inside, so no I'm not sure, but it sure is run down. Deserted buildings are perfect for criminal hideouts and activities. Well, that sucks. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn. Walls down. are too strong. Probably a little late for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. We don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. But that's right, from your point of view. But the perpetrator selected the lumber. Agent York, you seem very confident about this. Confident? No. Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. So I'm just drawing natural conclusions from the facts that we have seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me, and to normal people with common sense. Common sense can be the opposite of facts sometimes. Bear that in mind. You can just go as fast oh, as we want, as hard as we want. Holy Thank shit! You for another pearl of wisdom. Either way, we'll know for sure by simply going to the lumber mill. So keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself. And let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Agent York? Oh, we're going just... I don't know where we're going. Wherever this road takes us. I feel like we're getting very far from where we're supposed to be going. I'm going in alone. You two stay here. I can't concentrate on profiling with other people around me. Now hold on a minute. My dude, you we're just did it. You're hanging out with the George. I can't risk the crime scene being compromised by you two. What are you saying? You're not the only professional law enforcement officer here, Agent Morgan. We know how to secure a crime scene. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. But this is how I operate. Furthermore. Yes. Furthermore, what? To me. The outsider FBI agent? Every citizen of this town is a suspect. You two could be in on this whole thing for all I know. I have to keep suspects out of the crime scene. How can you say something? Agent thing? Morgan, you just went, I can't trust nobody. Is Not even the cops. Well, we should have left him behind and come here by ourselves. You're right. I've never been so insulted. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just doing my job. Me and my hat are insulted. That, Zach? If they're pros, then we should let every first-person shooter gamer out there join the SWAT team. <laughs> they are pros! They're law enforcement! Stay here. I should be on the SWAT team. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alright. Oh god, you were right there the whole time. I didn't even see you. Gah! Oh, excuse me. I'm a cop. Oh fuck, I can't. Oh, Oh, hey, it's that guy. Just as I thought, Zack. This is where Anna was killed. Then she was taken very far away, like five minute drive. To the murder scene. Time to trip out.
Oh, Jesus. That sounded very sloppy. I gotta quit smoking this meth, dude. <laughs> Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. All right, time to do some more profiling. Somebody's wearing some tight leathers. Oh, that's some machine gun. I put that in my box, damn it. I should have put it in my pocket. Zack, it's almost like an altar. Was the murder some kind of ritual? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's the leathery sound. The phone call is coming from inside the office. Smoked salmon? I trust that. Oh, sweet. Hold on, tool. I got a toolbox real quick. And nobody's there! Where are you hiding? Oh. Reverse pizza. I will watch it all when we get all the pieces. Might as well just take a nap, I guess. <sighs> sure. A light sleep. Mm. Oh, I'm hungry now. What is up with my... What? My suits? My suits fucked up. Just a little bit. I got... I don't have a boner. I swear it's fixed. Fixed it. Won't budge without a good whacking. Got any tools handy? Um... That good? Guess not. Smells terrible. Looks like someone forgot to flush. <laughs> oh. Heh. Bum 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 Oh, it's slowly going down, huh? Did I fix it? There we go. Let me down. Oh my god, this shit was really flooded. This was really, really flooded. Oh, hey. <laughs> the fuck? It was like a reality TV sound. Huge upside down piece marks have been drawn on the steam engine tank. Any idea what this means, Zach? Baby? What's wrong, baby? You're not baby. About to lose my shovel. I'm gonna miss it.
What's wrong, baby? What was this? Oh, flush, of course. I hope that fixed the cl Oh, no! Axe man! Why did flushing the toilet make the axe man come? What did flushing the toilet do? Oh, goodbye shovel. More steel pipe though. Aye. Is the right way? I hope it is. Ice of dust. Just the deadly premonition experience.